I'm a Sputnik generation. You know, Sputnik generation happened not only in the United States, it happened in the USSR too. For bright Russian youngsters in the 1960s, doing well in the science Olympiads created in the aftermath of Sputnik was a ticket to top math and science high schools. That's what happened to Vitaly Nestorenko, who left home in the Russian Far East to attend a school run by the Russian Academy of Sciences in Novosibirsk, 2300 miles away. He stayed on the same campus for the next 30 years, getting his PhD, teaching and doing research. It was very cool to be physicist and to be engineer. In 1994, he quickly became involved in projects with UCSD faculty. Contracted to translate his own Russian monograph into English by Springer, Nestorenko ended up writing a new 500-page book. And then I suddenly found myself inside four very hot project very close to my heart. So it was practically impossible to leave. His research includes dynamic behavior of materials and using high pressure for processing new materials. And his work on a processing method for magnesium diboride to be used in superconducting coils could one day help make MRI machines cheap enough for every doctor's office. To be a good teacher, Nestorenko has several rules of thumb. One is simplicity. You must find a way to make things simple to students. Nestorenko also takes responsibility if students aren't learning and he clearly relishes interacting with them. Respect to students. If they feel disrespected, then they're not going to interact with you. He awards extra credit to students who ask questions in class or who catch him in a mistake. Sometimes I do intentional little mistakes. And if they did not catch it, I say, okay, I got mistake, nobody notices. I give extra credit to myself. Whether teaching, pursuing his favorite hobby, ocean kayaking up to 10 miles at a time, or hanging out with his sons Alex and Igor and wife Olga, who taught English in Russia but now teaches Russian in the U.S., Nestorenko cannot imagine a better place to live. Uh, there is no place on the earth like San Diego. It appears his youngest son inherited some of Nestorenko's love of San Diego and engineering. Igor graduated in 2005 in electrical engineering from the Jacob School. For his devotion to education and classroom excellence, Vitaly Nestorenko is the recipient of the Jacob School's Tau Beta Pi 2008 Outstanding Professor Award.